What's up guys? Hot stove burning in an unexpected place. The O's newly minted ownership aren't playing around. Blockbuster trade between the O's and the Brewers. Uh, Corbin Burns heading to Birdland um, for shortstop Joey Ortiz, left-hand pitcher D.L. Hall. Both of those guys are uh, top 100 prospects and the 34th pick in the 2024 MLB draft heading to Milwaukee. And I was waiting for the Orioles to do something flashy and splashy because all their young talent and how fun they were and electric they were last year. This does it. Obviously, Corbin Burns is a rental, but you just got your ace of your staff with all your young flamethrowers to go along with that. That feels really, really good if I'm an O's fan. Plus, it shows the new ownership isn't playing around. And their farm system is still stacked. Um, from the Brewers perspective, I'm kind of confused. I mean, two top 100 prospects for a rental uh, is good, plus a draft pick. Um, but this feels like you're going half in, half out. And those situations usually never work out even though the NL Central is weird anyway. Um, I usually like going one way or the other because they just signed Reese Hoskins to a two-year $34 million deal. And now you trade one of your best pitchers, definitely your ace of your staff. I get it if you're not going to sign him, you get something for him. But it just feels a little weird. And now that Joey Ortiz is in the Brewer system. Does that make Willie Adamas available? I don't know, but it would that would be a good um, think about for the Braves. No, we don't have a lot in our farm system, but Alex Anthopoulos has swung things before. But half in, half out is a tricky way to see um, and do a baseball team. We've seen it a lot in the past and sometimes it works out and it may work out for the Brewers with the NL Central being so strange um, and they still have good pieces. I just, I always like one way or the other. I just do, but I think it's a really good deal for both sides and it's a banger deal for the Orioles even if they're not able to sign them to an extension, but if they are, that's even better. Um, but, I mean, this maybe will light up the stove. Uh, just needed to get to February for some um, insane action to talk about. Uh, really good for the O's. We'll see if it's good for Milwaukee. Um, on the surface, it looks like a good deal for both sides, but much better for the Orioles. And it's going to make the A at least a lot um more exciting it always is but the O's are not playing around anymore and they weren't playing around last year they're definitely not now really really like it as always go Braves champions forever hit that subscribe button hit that like button helps out a lot thanks guys